Kia ora everybody and how you guys all going today? I'm here with the great rubber, rubber, great rubber, there she is. We're well, here, I've got a couple of bags here, the old pack and span bags. Oh, not really, well, pack and span, no, countdown bags, but nearly pack and span bags. You know what that means when I get these? It's a beautiful autumn day and we are at our watercress spot. I'm about to get into that water and get some watercress. I think it's time for a bit of an autumn boil up. When it's cold, it's boil up time and we haven't had a watercress boil up for probably about a month now. So starting to get a bit of an appetite for it, some you know some nice fatty pork with it as well. We've got some pumpkin in the shed we'll have with it as well. So I'm about to hop into that cold water there and get us some watercress and I'll see there's some there so let's go and have a look shall we? We're in the old bare feet today. That water looks quite cold. You can see a little bit of fresh stuff in there. But I think we were here last time. Oh yeah, we had some actually, we had a couple of floods not long ago after the last watercress, so it might be a bit harder to find today. Now, this is where we were last time, we were over here. As you can see, it's all been, it's all been washed away, look. Big piles here, and I can see some back there, but we'll just have a look up here and see what we can find. Yeah, so the old floods have taken a lot of watercress away. There's not much there. Look, ah, I've got two bags here. I don't think I'll be filling up one bag. About two weeks ago, we had some really heavy rain. But, uh, and that would have probably taken a lot of it away. Yeah. So I'll go a bit further up here. I can see a bit here, might have to pick. A couple of little handfuls, so we'll grab that anyway. Handfuls in here look not much, but it's actually worth picking rubber. I don't think it's worth picking. I might just grab it anyway, but we're here. Oh man, the sand flies. Bring my bag down here. Once you get in and grab the watercress, you like swimming. Right, make sure we don't fall right in and get the camera all wet. Oh boy, that's cold up. Freezing. Ooh, ooh. Freezing cold. Hello. There's not much here, look, that's about it. A bit of handful. But we might have to have a mini board up instead. I was thinking about doing a mini board up. Oh, windy. Anyway, I'm going to put the camera down, I think, because I'm going to go further out and grab those bits out here. But look, not much here. Look. Well, like last time we were here, I had a funny feeling that that flood would, would take some of that, wipe that watercress away. Yeah, look, I've got about two handfuls from this lot. There you go, that's a couple of handfuls. Look at that, sad as. Very sad day. Two little handfuls in here. Remember, it might be a bad watercress day today, but we'll keep on looking. We're here, so we might as well have a look around. Oh, that water's cold. Now, I've been here before, came here with my mum one, one day and we had uh, got watercress and there's a whole lot of puha growing here as well so we managed to get some puha as well. So we had an awesome feed, puha and watercress. That's my mum who, uh, who taught me the art of gathering watercress and puha. Someone's gone, oh look, watercress, and you get here and you go, there's not much watercress there. Another little handful. 
I don't think we even bother with that rubber. We might try somewhere else. Let's carry on. Yes, we might better get some from here. I don't want you to go too deep. There's a bit over here. How far out does it look? Just over there, see? There's some. Oh shit, we have our jandals here. I think I need my keys there too. There's some there, look. Got to pick amongst that weed. Not too much, probably, but another couple of handfuls. So we'll grab that. Just got to really pick amongst the bim and weed, though. But it looks nice and fresh, so it's good. Yeah, but I enjoy coming out here. We just gotta be pick amongst the other weed there. Like that weed, see? You know one there. Don't even know what it's called, but I don't need it. If it's not watercress or puha, I ain't touching it. Some of you followers might. So I'm just gonna sort through here, pick out some little bits, and then we'll just try another spot. See where else we can go. Dokily dokily, my friends. a bit hard to get here. I don't want to get full in the river and get wet. Okay, so as you can see I'm just picking my way through pick my way through this and see what we can get out of here. Let's get a bit of a taste test happening anyway. You always like the old taste test. So that's how much I got from that little area. One little handful, or big handful. What'd you get? You got wet, didn't you? So we're slowly filling our bag up. So, yeah, half a bag full. But wouldn't mind some more, another another bag. So the watercress I got, half a bag. That's not much at all for a feed. I was hoping to get Mike some. I had a funny feeling that the old uh, Woody Crest might have been wiped away. I've been here before, big floods have happened. And you know, I've had some awesome little patches up here, and they've all been shoo, taken taken downstream somewhere to start a new life, hopefully. So, yeah, half a bag. See, come all this way, you get half a bag of uh, Woody Crest. Well, so I'm going to carry on and uh, we're going to go a bit further down here and we'll see how we get on. But I've got a funny feeling that that's going to be it. Well, I just had Mike come over for a visit. Mike and I were supposed to go floundering this morning, but there's a rā we are at the moment. There's a missing fisherman. So if somebody is missing in the water and they don't recover their body, they place what's called a rāhui on. A rāhui is when they ban fishing and gathering of kaimana for consumption. There's respect for the missing person who's missing in the water. Unfortunately for the whānau concerned. So Mike and I couldn't go floundering and uh, yesterday I couldn't get enough watercress for Mike. But he went out yesterday and managed to get himself some for a bit of a taste test last night. Which he sent me some photos through. He had wild pork chops with his one. some salt in there, we had a bit of garlic as well. All the watercress I got, half a bag, but it'll be enough for a taste test tonight. Maybe if you're lucky, a bit tomorrow, but I don't think so. Oh, 
a bit of a clean up. A couple of kumara. So I've got this pumpkin here. This is out of my garden. This is a small one. This one didn't quite get big enough before the plant died at the end of the season. So I don't think this one's ripe. Even though the wick is, is sort of dead, but it's not really. It was almost on its way to get ripened up and then the season stopped. Other three there grew really well, but this one I don't think it's going to be ready. But we're going to cut it open, have a look. Otherwise I've got to cut into one of my bigger pumpkins. And I don't want to do that yet. We'll have a look anyway. Hopefully it should be orange inside, but I don't think so. Let's have a look. Right, so I cut it in half, and that doesn't look too bad. It's not really ripe, but I think this will be okay. I'm going to peel it. It might be okay. It's, this is orange, and it smells like pumpkin nice and sweet, so I think it should be alright. We'll try it anyway. Better than it going to waste. And it's orange, it's not, uh, I thought it was going to be quite white inside, more this sort of colour. But it has ripened up quite a bit, so yay, happy days. I'm not paying five bucks in the shop for a pumpkin this size. I'll just do that fancy skimming thing. Look at that, see how that works tonight. Apparently you do that. So we shall try it out tonight. Somebody said I should do it. Skim out all the stuff. All the scum. Let's see how that goes. So we're not making a soup, we're actually making a board up, so I understand you're doing it to the soup. But to a board up, I'm not sure if that works, but you guys probably you guys that do this skim out the the crap, does it work for you? Does you think it tastes the uh, think it makes the board up taste better? We take all that stuff out, or well, you're losing flavour. What do you think? The bowl's all done. I've just gave the woodcress a bit of a clean. Is your just under ripe pumpkin? We'll see what it tastes like. But I don't want to get to go to waste, so we're going to eat it anyway. Might be okay in a boiler. Some kumara and some rewai for Neve. Here it is. Let's just check our meat. I think it's time to add our vegetables. Yep, I think I'm going to add the vegetables now. So I'm going to pull that pork out. Then I'm going to add the watercress and add the vegetables on top. And then I'm going to add the secret ingredient on top of that. Sausages. Sausages. Today's ones are called sage and onion. We'll put those over here on the side. Whoa. Lost you there for a minute. Here we have it. Oh yeah boy. Cook until ready. Right, let's check out Kai. It smells delicious. Let's have a look. Oh yeah. That out. You can really smell the bay leaf coming through on this one. I've got two fresh bay leaves in there. You can really smell that. It smells man in the watercress. Ooh, check out the pork fat on the top there. Check that pork fat out. You can also smell those sausages, that sage and onion on them. Don't they smell delicious? Yeah. I'll pull that out for you right here. Let's have a taste test on that, shall we? Right, taste test. It was there looking at me, I thought, oh yeah, might as well grab you. Get a little bit of salt on that. Check that out, that is really tasty. Mm. 
Here we have a mystery pork fat. Not good for your pork fat, brother. Pork fat's not good for rubber, is it? Really? Okay. You're not silly. Yeah, so hey everyone. There we go. So we might plate up and then we have a bit of a taste test for you guys. What do you think about that? Second boiler for the year, April. End of April. test before that butter melts on that pumpkin. We're going to try that pumpkin first, see what it tastes like. Hopefully it'll be sweet but it should be okay in a boiler. We'll have a try, shall we? Should be alright. Yeah, hmm, fine. Nothing wrong with that. I was a bit worried it wouldn't be very tasty but it's tasty. Yum. Wow. You can really taste that butter on there. That melted butter. And our pumpkin skin. Mmm. Nice. Yep. Definitely nothing wrong with the pumpkin at all. It's very sweet. Be one of my favourite vegetables, pumpkin. Best thing about that is I grew it in that back garden. Always a good feeling eating the kai that you grow. So we'll just have a bit of a pork fat taste and oh, here comes the Justins that turned up. No, stop it, no, stay. Two Justins, Justin Tar for Kai. See? Always the case, those two. Right. That pork fat was nice. Quick taste test, here comes the family. Ready? Try the watercress. Here they come. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Very sweet. Very sweet, that indeed. A bit more there. The first boy of watercress. It's very sweet. Mesha, hoi hoi. Mmm. Last but not least, let's try some of this sage and onion sausage, shall we? Let's just try that before the noise comes in. Make sure stop it. Right, ready? Mm. Hey, it's spoiling my taste here. Stop it. No. Go away, on your bed. Here they come, the two Justins, uh, just in time. The two Justins, just in time. They've been shopping. Right, a bit more taste test, and then we're gonna leave you guys to it. Mm -mm -mm. Definitely a very tasty border. I'm happy with this. The way it worked out. Pretty tasty. I got this board up here. A 10 out of 10. And now let's just try this again the old Satan onion sausage. Mmm. Masha, stop it. Oh, you're not going on camera. You know that girl? Isn't she getting tall? There it is. You can even see the hoodoo hoodoo on it. Thanks for watching. It's a bit of a hard gather, only half a bag, but hopefully the half a bag will last us maybe two nights. Definitely worthwhile with the petrol and stuff, driving the and back. So I'm glad I'm gonna give my secret spots away to people. So thanks for watching and we will catch you all on the next video. You all take it easy out there and catch you later. Bye. Oh, it's really... <laughs>
the, the two Justins.